Hi, this is Nick Whirl at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we are going to reduce the size of a project. Uh, this project is completely registered already. We get a lot of questions from customers who are using uh, the scanner to scan very large projects uh, and in doing so they end up with some incredibly large file sizes, 15, 16 gigs, uh, even more. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to compress each of the scans in this project. Uh, we're going to go through how we're going to create a new project from the compressed scans and take a look at what the difference is between the pre-compressed and post-compressed scan project sizes are. So this existing project was scanned. Uh, it's an interior scan. Uh, you've got about 11 million points per scan. Um, and as we can see here, we're looking at about a gig's worth of data in this project. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the settings tab, switch to the old user interface, gives us a little more freedom, uh, some different options that aren't carried over into the new user interface. We will just right click on uh, the first scan, go to the new tab, and we are going to then create a new scan. Uh, we will choose the noise compression to two to one and it will only take a second and we end up with what in essence is a copy of this scan at a reduced point size, number of points. Uh, one of the things that you'll find when you're looking at a point one uh, version of this scan, a reduced size of this scan, is the edges, the walls, uh, this becomes more clear. Um, what they're doing is reducing the number of points and you end up reducing a lot of what they some people call fuzz in their scans. So you actually get a clearer scan out of it as well as a smaller scan size. So again, we just go down here to the next scan, to the new tab, go to the scan option, two to one reduction, and we'll go through and finish all of these. Now, as you can see, we've gone through each of the scans, created a uh, a uh, copy that's compressed. Um, easy thing to do to take a look at it. We'll create a, uh, a cluster and that first cluster uh, we will just drop all of the original uh, scans into. And then we'll create a second cluster and we'll drop the compressed versions into that. Just to take a look at uh, both of these projects, the compressed and non-compressed versions, that is the non-compressed. And that's the compressed. So you can't really see uh, a huge difference when you're looking at this, which is good. If we were to clip box and look at some of the edges, you'll see how it's uh, it's cleaner, as I mentioned. But uh, in essence, you're looking at the exact same scan project. So let's take a look at what the actual sizes are. We'll create a new project and bring in just the compressed scans. As you can see, we've created a brand new project. We've just called it the uh, same name as the previous with compression in it, just to differentiate it. Uh, this is the project, the original project. We can just go into the revisions folder and look at the last revisions folder, open up the scans and you'll see this was the last save that we did and it's got all of our point one versions or compressed scan versions. We'll just highlight all of them, drag and drop them into our new project and save it. We can uh, load them up, see how much faster they load. Take a quick look at what we've got here. Once again, that looks just like it did before. But most importantly, let's take a look at what we've got for a project size. And we were just over a gig previously in the original. 
and take a quick look at the new project. Now we've gone from just over a gig to 62.1 megs. Pretty significant compression. And again, if you're looking at the actual project, um, you've got cleaner edges, you've got a lighter file, and then if you were to go through recap and put this into an RCP, RCS file format, you'd get an even uh, larger reduction in the project size.